am going to tell you how to find your audience. Hello everybody and welcome to this video. This question came from Bunny. Bunny's been asking a lot of really banger fucking questions lately. So there's gonna be quite a few Bunny questions coming. Check this dude out. You're fucking jamming like fuck, dude. Bunny's question is, how do I find my audience and how do I interact with them? All of this takes time unless you want to like pay a company to build brand awareness around you. There's a couple different ways to look at this. One, you can look at this as organic growth where, and that takes a very long time. And there's nothing wrong with that. It just takes a long time. And we'll talk about a couple ways to do that here in a little bit. And then the second way is to really brand yourself. Dude, that chick almost fucking hit me, dude. Is to brand yourself, okay? Like I have the I Hate Matt Wall brand. Um, Poetic Anarchy Press, that's its own brand. People pretty much know what they're getting at through that. But what I will say about all that stuff is that both the I Hate Matt Wall and Poetic Anarchy Press all started super organically. That wasn't something where I was like, oh, how can I build a brand? Oh, I'll do this. Usually that shit happens as you go and you don't really, you're not really planning on it, but it just happens. If Bunny were to go to a marketing agency, they would start talking to her like, okay, so what would your audience be? Like, what kind of, like, name can you give your audience to make them feel included? Just little things like that. And so, like, I could just imagine that most admin would go, oh, Bunny, so maybe you should call them, like, Hopalongs or something like that. Like, it, it, that's, like, the kind of mentality that that kind of person has. For a long time, I called like my personal supporters haters because I just thought that was funny and I wasn't doing that because I'm like, I need to call them something. It was just easier for me. And then with the YouTube channel and everything, like we have the Anarchy Crew. And again, that came super organically because I was trying to explain the difference between the people who were like in the Poetic Anarchy courses and then everyone else who is like follows me on YouTube and shit like that. The other thing that I would say or suggest, regardless on if you want to do it organically, like basically person to person, word of mouth kind of shit, or you wanna have somebody do it, whatever you do, there needs to be consistency. Like I can't stress consistency enough. That is such a huge fucking part of building an audience. And, and like when I say consistency, it doesn't mean like you need to put something out every week, but you need to be consistent enough to where if someone were to say like, oh, Bunny Wild, how often does she post on Instagram? Someone would say, oh, two to three times a week. You know, just something like that to where it's not a question, not like a, well, fuck, I don't know. Like sometimes there's posts and sometimes there's not. In fact, I can't remember the last time I saw a post, something like that. Now we need to find out where we find these people, okay? Or where the audience finds you. Because I feel like that's one of the biggest misconceptions on growing an audience. A lot of people ask me, how do I find my audience? And I think the real question is, how does your audience find you? 
some people might go, oh, you're just arguing semantics now, but like, it's legit. Like you're not finding people to force them to like you. You are hoping that people who are already predisposed to like your kind of shit will read you and go, God damn it, this is exactly what I was looking for. You know what I'm saying? So the best way to help ensure that people can find you is to be in a place that's easy to find for that group of people. So now we have to start thinking about like, okay, well, what, what's a good place for these people to find me at? And you have to decide where you want that to be. If you think Instagram is the place for people to find that kind of shit, then that is where you logically should start your audience. The thing that just kind of dawned on me now though is I really think all of us, especially Anarchy Crew folk, should maybe focus our energies on the same platforms. Because some people have said Instagram, some people have said YouTube, some people have said Twitter, some people have said Discord, um, some people are on Voxer, some people have actually sent me links to communities that like I've never heard of before, but are like to have their own websites and shit. And that also could be really good. But I think what we need to do is all of us need to be on the same platforms, sharing each other's work to the larger audience. So if like right now we're on YouTube, I think all of us should be on YouTube. If we all did the same thing on the same place, I think that'd be beneficial for everybody. It just spreads easier. Like, like mind to like mind, like, like to like and shit. So that would be my thought. And the more I'm thinking about it, as much as I don't like YouTube shorts, um, I think it's like killing what made the platform cool in the first place. YouTube might be thinking that it's bringing people away from Instagram and away from TikTok. And if the numbers show that, then that's really fucking cool. So with that said, if that's really what's happening, we all need to kind of take advantage of that feature. So in the next few weeks, I'm gonna be doing more stuff like that. For those of you like Bunny, who probably don't wanna do a YouTube channel. If you just did shorts, you can do it without putting your face on camera. You can do it with not even your voice, although I do highly recommend you use your voice. And I highly recommend you guys do it. I mean, it's really, really good to get in the habit of reading your poetry and being in front of people. I know there is a huge difference between what I do and what other people in the world of poetry do. And that's okay, because I feel like there's an audience for what I do. And the reason why I think this, and this is something you need to ask yourself, the reason why I think this is because this is something that I have been looking for personally. So if I'm wanting it, if I'm looking for it, then chances are there's other people who feel the same way, who are looking for the same thing. So if that was helpful at all to you, go ahead and crack damn thumbs and like this video. And Bunny, I hope that either answered your question or gave you a little bit of insight into what you need to be doing and what we could all be doing together as a bunch of free verse page poets or just the anarchy crew in general, you know? So type hard everybody and I will talk to you all later. I just want to give a quick thanks to those people who make these videos possible. Anarchy Crew and my followers on Patreon. I appreciate the hell out of you guys. Thank you so much for keeping me going to keep this content possible. You guys are awesome. And if you'd like to join the crew of the Anarchy Crew, just hit the join button beneath this video. And if you'd like to become a member of my Patreon, you can run over to the link down below to do that as well. Thank you.